Hello and welcome to another automation guide. This time I'm going to be going over some of the issues with making uh, replicas with 1960s American muscle car engines uh, in automation. Now for the most part automation is a pretty decent simulation. It's not totally accurate but considering you know it is a game that's still supposed to be fun the simulation side of it is really good. Um, so in the case of making uh, American muscle car engines there are a few issues with matching real life uh, figures for example here I've just made a replica of the 440 six pack whatever you want to call it it was in the Dodge Charger and uh, stuff like that anyway in the Charger it was making around 370 horsepower or at least was quoted to here in automation I'm only getting 319 now it sounds like I'm way off but really I'm quite over if anything because of uh, a few interesting things with the way they measured power back then uh, see back uh, before I believe it was 1971 uh, muscle cars um, basically the way they measured uh, power was uh, using SAE gross and what that meant was they just took off every single part of the engine that wasn't needed to make it run. So no cooling system, for example the fans back then, they were quite good at robbing power. Things like alternators, basically anything that wasn't required to, uh, to put it in. They would just sort of dump water in there, make it last as long as they could, and then it would probably explode, but they'd get a high power figure because there's no engine drag. Uh, so that meant they were probably getting about 30% more power than usual. That's why in 1971-72 all of a sudden muscle cars were making sort of low 200 uh, horsepower like a, I believe the charger dropped to like 220 or something insane um, so yeah actually it may have been a bit higher I can't remember don't quote me on the exact figures but um, yeah there was a big drop back then it was also things like um, having to change to uh, 91 fuel and uh, and leaded fields, things like that. Uh, emission laws that did strangle the engines a bit, but the major power loss was basically just because they had to measure the the power figures in a different way, uh, which yeah uh, made it look like the cars were losing a lot more power than they actually were. So the other reason is the valve train system. See, American muscle cars of the time used solid lifters. Uh, whereas in automation we only have access to hydraulic lifters which really don't like to rev as much um, although solid lifters were only used in sort of the highest end muscle cars those are usually the ones people are trying to make replicas of so uh, it's not really too much of a surprise that uh, they uh, don't really like to rev um, too high at least compared to the real life muscle cars for example here I'm getting valve float now if I rev it any higher uh, if I literally just bump up the uh, red line one more, I get valve float. Whereas muscle cars could potentially approach 5,000 RPM while still being these huge, monstrous engines. Here I've tried to make an accurate um, 440, but um, yeah, using similar figures, I just can't really rev it to the same level just because um, I don't have access to the same sort of lifters. So. Um, yeah, the different ways that power was measured and the different lifters are sort of the reasons why uh, your replicas may seem a bit underpowered and may not rev as high. You can kind of get around this by applying lots of quality uh, to the top end to help them rev higher or make power further up. But uh, in terms of actually making power, uh, yeah, aiming for about 300 horsepower from a 7 litre isn't actually as bad as you think it is since automation measures in net not uh, gross power um, so anyway yeah hopefully this has been useful for you hopefully you've uh, learned something new and um, yeah maybe you'll be a bit less disappointed now uh, next time you try and build a muscle car engine only to find out that it's making very low amounts of power and uh, yeah turn this off I'm just going to uh, let you listen to this so anyway yeah don't forget to leave a like and subscribe until next video Goodbye.